Hi, I'm Dan Bridges of Velmas Kettle Corn. Of all the market managers I've met and the time I've been in this business, this gal that's with me is about the finest I've seen in the surrounding Boston area. She's not only a fine woman, she's talented, she's sharp, she's witty, and she's a great friend. It is my extreme privilege to introduce Jackie Menino. Jackie, would you please tell us about this brand new market of yours? I'd love to, Dan. Framingham Winter Farmers Market is open the first Thursday of every month, running through the month of May. We are located at Framingham First Parish, 24 Vernon Street in Framingham. It's in the Framingham Center Preschool Building. Hi, I'm Janet Frank of Jan's Teapot. It's okay to be loose. This is custom blended loose tea, blended by Lisa Wynn from North Carolina. It's called the Artisan's Cup, all natural, no preservatives, and loose tea goes a very long way. It's a wonderful full cup of tea. Hi, I'm Julie Gross, and I'm the owner of Julie Z Breads. Um, I bake specialty zucchini breads in a variety of flavors. I have regular breads, and I have gluten-free, and they come in uh, full-size loaves, mini loaves, and muffin packs. Fudge and Stuff, a new business out of Stowe, Massachusetts, features a variety of freshly made treats that use no preservatives, including toffees, fudge, bark, and you name it. Hi, I'm Desna from Westminster Meats. We are out of Westminster, Vermont, and we have been in business for four years. We're a family-owned business that features a variety of pasture-raised meats. Okay, my name's Steve Nelson. I own uh, Hedgy Salsas and Rubs. We make a variety of fresh salsas with locally grown vegetables out in Western Mass. We've been doing it for about seven years. And we make a number of dry rubs uh, made from spices that we get from a local small spice company. Hi, my name's Jennifer from Jennifer's Handmade Soap. Um, as you can see, I make handmade soaps and bath products. I've been making soaps for three and a half years now and love to make a good quality soap. Hi, I'm Ron from Town Farm Gardens. We're a small family-owned farm from Brookfield, Massachusetts. We make pickles, jams, jellies, relishes from uh, ingredients grown primarily on our farm. Hi, my name is Jeff Olson from a Summer Place Farm. We uh, specialize in fresh vegetables and free-range eggs. Okay, hi, Victorito, Fior d'Italia Pasta and Cheese, Manchester, Vermont. We're a small artisan pasta company specializing in all uh, handcrafted uh, pasta of all sizes and shapes. Hi, I'm Cheryl Salucci. I'm from Great Harvest Bread in Newtonville, Mass. We actually feature all kinds of breads that are made from scratch daily, and we actually mill our own wheat flour. So we mill the wheat the day before and bake with the bread the next day and bring it to market. Hi, my name is Miriam Morales, and I am part of El Recreo State Coffee. It's a coffee that it comes from my parents' farm in Nicaragua, in Hinotega, and it's Rainforest Alliance certified. C&C Lobsters and Fish out of Hull, Massachusetts. Chris, the owner, has been a lobsterman his entire life. They feature freshly caught lobsters and a variety of local fish. And don't forget, I'm Eric. And I'm Dan. Of, of Velma's Kettle, kettle Corn. corn. Uh, don't forget, we pop our kettle corn fresh the day of the market before we come down here. And don't forget the day. It's the first Thursday yep. of every month, just one day a month. Right. And check out our website too, right Eric? WickedDelicious.com. That's where you're going to find out all the other locations we're at. And if you can't make it to the market, you can buy kettle corn online. online. Yay! Isn't it good?